This is the Deshorn Bullet in Nitrobe 77. Obviously a presentation grade knife. Details of it are given down in the description with some number of links to background information on the materials and manner of construction. But while aesthetics were obviously critical when Des was making this knife, it is very much a functional piece of cutlery. And I've used it for pairing use in the kitchen and small utility work uh, for since I've got it. And uh, just recently I had a bunch of uh, small branches which I needed to cut down into smaller pieces because I was going to burn them. And uh, I decided to use the bullet to take them down. Uh, no issues, it was effortlessly slicing through the branches. And I've sped this up tremendously here because watching me do 15 minutes of repetitive slicing on uh, small sticks probably isn't the most exciting uh, piece of work in the world. But I just wanted to describe some of the actual use. And the camera angle could have been a bit better here. Could have paid attention to it um, a little more and angled it down. But essentially it slices very nice um, through the wood with no significant problems. Continuing on to use the knife, it's easily chewing through all this uh, wood. Now, I would have actually showed this a bit slower in a bit more detail so you could see how the knife was cutting, but I had the GoPro camera positioned at the wrong end so you couldn't really see uh, a lot. Be more careful about that the next time. But I just wanted to show this knife uh, in use because I do use it relatively regularly, but of course I always don't carry a, a cameras with me. But I had the opportunity here, so I'll just film it, just showing some of the work that I normally do with it as I continue breaking down this big pile of sticks. Another thing that I would say um, about it as a small bit of concern is that the liner lock will go to full engagement if you use it uh, sort of heavily, and I'm doing some significant uh, power cuts here. However, it doesn't stick or jam, which is a common problem that I have with uh, many liners and integrals. The small sabenza and large sabenza that I have both used uh, do have that problem, particularly the small sabenza. If I do any significant cutting whatsoever, it will jam over solid and become very difficult to release. While this liner goes all the way to the side or full engagement, it doesn't get any kind of slop or play, and it's still very easy to release, which is a sign, and that's how a good liner or integral uh, should be made. But unfortunately, a lot of them are not made that way, and people sort of expect or tolerate uh, kind of poorly faced locks which actually jam as a characteristic of liner or integrals and it's not it's only a characteristic of ones that are not properly made and here's the bullet at the end sitting on a nice pile of nicely broken out sticks